Welcome back to another video And today I will be taking you guys to Kisama to celebrate the Hornbill Festival from An introvert's point of view, let's go and have fun <laughs> Have fun or I don't know <laughs> See ya Puffer jacket from H&M. The sweater inside is thrifted. The back is also thrifted, and a warm legging from Urban League. Boots from Charles and Keith. So this is the outfit of the day. This is the entrance of the Naga Organic Pavilion. Ah, and here's Mom wearing my One X One merch. Cha. Hi. <laughs> You're gonna push someone. <laughs> And that's my bestie. We are selling organic items. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've drank it in something night bazaar. Yeah, it is fine. So, this is the cover. It's a DIY of Port Bill Feathers. Okay, so we, uh, we get to see the flowers here. They put it on display. So it's on sale also. I'm kind of a plant person but like I don't know how to take care of plants. That's my weakness. Oh my god, those are so pretty. Come on! <laughs> I love this! Oh, orchid Wow, those are mushrooms Okay, I can see varieties of um, wine here Merch Laurel Galleria and you can see some wheelchairs for the specially abled persons and here's the inside let's go here is the flower heaven for people who love flowers <clears throat> I think they compete against each other and then they give serial numbers like this and then they exhibit their flowers and then the best one gets the award oh so this was the second winner okay it's pretty and that was the third winner hmm, so cute oh my god i'm loving this okay don't touch the exhibit sorry i guess this is also a winner that's for sure okay it's the first winner I am in love with this uh, I think we call it bonsai Yeah. So here is the first winner And this is constellation Oh my god, it looks like an island But what is that? What else? Okay This is so cute. <laughs> uh, you can see Naga Heritage Village written there. It's, it looks like Hollywood, I guess. <laughs> and it's on top of the mountain. Huh? <laughs> Me running away from people, like, and my extrovert mom is talking with her friends right now. <laughs> Okay, this is the, the second World War Museum there. I'm so excited to go there. Thank you for coming. Our skin is glowing. Yeah, it's because of the sun. Oh, here the extrovert lady is coming. 
Hi. Hello. <laughs> Directing to the video. Like, hello. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> yeah, we look yellow. <laughs> Ale, take off your mask. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so we're inside the. Okay. Thank you. Now let me speak. <laughs> We're inside the entrance of the museum and I will show you guys I mean like in my previous video of my village diary I've also shown you guys the museum Okay My mom's telling me to talk loudly because I tend to speak softly So this is Artsy Naga exhibition uh, My bestie used to work here last year Lipok uh, Manan, I think I know this guy <laughs> yeah, I know this painter. And the Sutiba Anar. Oh my god, it looks so realistic. Uh, Alumla. Wow. Amazing. I think this is the updated version of the Nagaland map painting by Along Chankiri. Um, yeah, this is Mogok Chong. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Look at this elephant. Sutiba Anar. He is such an amazing artist. And this is from Mimli. I think it's acry acrylic. This looks like an oil painting, but it's acrylic. From Among Venne. Hi, Among. This is also from Among Venne. I know he's so good in making landscapes. Uh, Mulong Sinap, wow, this is so nice. Oh, it looks like anime. Oh my god, Mulong Sinap, I love his art style. It's giving. <laughs> I think this is also Mulong Sinap because the art style looks similar. Yes, it is. This is by Junavi Achumi. Painting by Akang Sunab Jamir. The same thing. Oh, so he used the same model for his painting. And this one looks super realistic. Akang Sunab Jamir again. Okay. This is from Buti Tapa. Okay. A Nepalese painting in Ao themselves. So nice. And this is from Along Chunkiri. Oh my god, I thought it was photograph, but it's charcoal sketch. Okay, Chungpong Lam Tor. So this is basically two horn builds. This is the crucifixion of Jesus, that's for sure. By Akang Sinab Jamir. This is from Tong. Paiti. I'm sorry if I murder your surname. Uh, it's Tang Paiti. Amazing. Oh my god, this looks like Van Gogh painting. Rahul Alam. Okay, but this painting is from Rahul Alam. Or oh, even this as well. I think that's watercolor. Yep, it's watercolor. Toto. Artsinaka always brings the best paintings. Oh, how can we forget that? Naga traditional haircut. Oh, yeah, they used to cut the hairs from Dao like that. This is a work of art. Wooden craft so amazing. Okay, yeah, we're finally on our way inside the museum now. Let's go. Like I can't wait. Can you run? <laughs> My excitement. Oh, please be open. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh my god! I'm 
so excited. Okay, it's quite noisy inside, so I'm just using a mic. So basically, the Civil War was fought on April 4th, 1944, between the Japanese forces and the British people because the Japanese they waged war against the U.S. against the British in 1941, uh, and it started from Pearl Harbor. So it affected even in Nagaland. So they wanted to block the way from Imphal to Koima. So they had to come to Koima for this reason. The Japanese attacked Nagaland, and uh, yeah, this is where relics and stuff are kept. So let's check it out. So they've chronologically mentioned the battle every day. Okay, so the saga continues here. This is Monday, 10th April 1944. So the war started on 4th April. So this is like the sixth day after the battle. And this is Tuesday, 11th April. Oh my. So they've mentioned everything very clearly, which I'm going to check it out after I finish taking this video Sunday April 16th April Monday Tuesday Wednesday and these are the guns and ammunitions that they used so we're seeing all this firsthand it's so old and amazing it's rusted Okay, so that's a uh, combat boots that they used during the war. Mm. And these are the swords. Stretcher barriers of the Durham Light Infantry. Destination of Koima Ridge after the battle. Okay. <laughs> I'm bumping into a lot of people. Koima, the Nagas remembered. So the inside looks like this. Um, here are the grenades that they used during the Second World War. Oh, the booty, booty. <laughs> Kidding, okay. Um. I don't know where to start. I'm just I'm just going here and there. I mean like I'm getting anxiety. Uh, you can see my hands sweating now. <sighs> Look at my hands sweating. <laughs> so this was collected in Chumagitima. Uh, so Chumagitima is basically a new district in Naglan. Um, I wish there was someone to explain all these things. But I'm sure these are tank relics. And they even have the numbers. Those are things of wonders. You know, just imagine how many years has it been. Uh, the thing about museum that makes me wonder is like, those are the original things that have been kept. See, these are the things that were used years back. And here we are witnessing it. To witness all these things in our era. Like, how amazing is that? So this was presented by our former Chief Minister, Dr. A.C. Jamir, and this is the Instrument of Surrender.
right, so Koima has become so developed these days and we don't know how it looked way back in 1944 so this is the main battlefield of the Koima war oh look at these cuties okay anyway so this is how it looked like it was all mountains and valleys and trees everywhere no buildings nothing they want to like denote and show how the houses were destroyed with bombs during the war as you can see a mini display of how they used to take their men's arms and supplies from Willie's jeep so this is a Japanese jungle supply base those are so well made look at the details So this is the model of the abandoned tank. It is known as medium tank M3 Grant. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm, the Dakota Doglak C47 Skytrain. Okay, so I was disturbing her photography session. <laughs> Oh my god, my friend is exhausted! <laughs> so this is how they weave Weaving through cotton Yeah, they chow can store green, right? Tan, tan is tan. Yeah, okay, tan, okay. Tan di chow, chow li ulai. Chow hawli lah. Hawli umang bang. Kiman din banala kasi? Oh yeah, the kiki rin kena. Oh, okay, thank you. We need to get to Banaole. Uh, it on. Yeah. One hour. One hour. Wow. Our price to Kimana say? 250. 250. Oh. Okay. Very reasonable considering how much time and effort they put into. One Sundar say? This is like my favorite area. Stomachs in our room now. It's okay. 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 Okay.
We're having the mapuki. This is a traditional rice beer. This is known as the mapuki. So we get it here in this tumbler. And this is amsu and pork innards. Enjoy. <laughs> They're waiting for me to complete my vlog. <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers. 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 It's amazing. Mm. Amazing food with amazing music. <laughs> This guy is having the time of his life singing the songs for everyone. <laughs> so we're on our way to visit the Kite Manja campsite. Mom and I will be staying the night here and at least here to assist us. So these are the tent up there. Oh, so the tent are off different. Oh my god, there's a lot of tent. <laughs> like my anxiety is starting now. Um, so which one is our tent? You guys shifted down here. Oh, be careful. So these are the tent. I think my favorite tent would be the pink one. <laughs> so cute. Top full as yeah. yeah. No, not full. Some are empty. Oh yeah, yeah. some are empty. Yeah. I thought people are still sleeping. <laughs> me, <laughs> like yeah. me, someone like me would be sleeping. Is this our tent? Hmm? Is this our tent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you give me the pink one. Oh yeah. yeah. Then which one? Hey, you're bringing this one. <laughs> the tenth number it's 43 okay so i guess i'm not getting the pink tent tent number 39 bye bye okay that's also pink anyway i have no favoritism for pink but this is kind of magenta color so this is our tent okay you'll explain no. <laughs> oh, my mom's already, she's already entered. So this is the inside of the tent. And my mom is already sleeping. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh my god, it's big. Yeah. Th this spongy thing, this mat, it's very warm, okay? This is perfect. So, we'll be staying here tonight. So that's the lobby. So they can have breakfast and dinner here as well, right? No, they can have dinner here. These are the do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Yeah. Remember when we meet, we grow. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We're in the bamboo pavilion now and I really love this truck right here where they're selling all the traditional items 
Let's get inside. Hi guys, this is Willow Chopi. Hello. He's a photographer and he's taking shots for Naga Street Style. <laughs> we'll see his shots in Naga Street Style Instagram. Page. Thank you so much for the pictures. Bye. And this is our items. I'm going to check one of the items here. Hi, Don't pretty. tell me you're uploading in YouTube. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm already famous again. Oh wow, that's Indian nice. Indian oh yeah. She's already famous already it famous. seems. <laughs> so you can oh check my it god. Out. <laughs> so I'm getting this uh, choker crafted from crafted by Bijo. Made by Uya. Hi, say hi. The owner. Welcome. Hello. Hi. 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 original tribal songs we also had the idea of original tribal art and so that's why over the course of the last few months we collaborated with tribal artists who collaborated with the musicians on stage and understood appreciated 
and internalized the concepts behind these songs. And then they executed these with art inspired from the tribes that they came from. Well, such as yourselves! And now, please welcome on stage our friends from the Bodo tribe. This is a song called Buisagu, which is about the festival and the festive spirit. Let's take it away. Are you ready to dance?